Hi, I'm Tulsa People Magazine food editor Judy Allen, and today we're going to take a look at the newest trend to hit our city, meals on truck wheels. Food trucks are the perfect vehicle to allow local chefs and even some very talented home cooks to introduce their personal cuisine. There are over two dozen trucks circling town every day, serving everything from chicken and waffles at the local table to Bohemia Benedicts from Bohemia Movable Feast Caterers. Grilled cheese for kids. We have some uh, chicken fingers for kids when you're at like Guthrie Green. The chicken and waffles has a little bit of cachet that people like. And I'm gonna start some Korean tacos. Actually, I'm gonna debut them uh, Monday night at I'm at a food truck and beer dinner. Somewhere in between you will find a food truck staple, tacos. Perhaps the most popular spot to find them is Mr. Nice Guys, as that is the truck's specialty. And these new guys on the block have many popular variations on which to choose. Carne asada, seared tuna, grilled shrimp, jerk chicken, and al pastor. Hi, we're in the truck of Mr. Nice Guys, and this is one of the Mr. Nice Guys, Mike Emery, and hello, they're getting hello. ready for lunch service here at Guthrie Green. What do you what do you have on the griddle here? Uh, right now we got some fresh jerk chicken grilling up right here. Chef Brandon Holmes taking care of it. Grilling up nice. Yeah, jerk chicken is by far one of the most popular. Um, it just flies, yeah, it flies off the shelf. So. And I know you're known for tacos. What what was the inspiration behind that? Um, I was just doing a lot of traveling. Uh, eat a lot of street eats on my trips and uh, just kind of picking up stuff along the way and uh, just kind of brought it back to Tulsa. Fresh salsa toppings are made daily to top the tacos. If you have time to spare, grab a spot in line for Lone Wolf's prized banh mi, the creation of chef Philip Phillips. His Vietnamese banh mi sandwiches are a fusion of both French and Vietnamese cuisines that pairs fresh baked baguettes with honey ginger pork and pickled vegetables. What was your inspiration behind this? Uh, inspiration was simply the first time I ever tasted the food. Um, you know, you, there, there's not a lot of this here in Tulsa, so we had to travel outside of Tulsa to experience it. So out in California, we tried one for our first time. And from the first moment, it was like a point of revelation as to why, why don't we have this in Tulsa that's this good? Why don't we, why, why doesn't everybody know about this? So. And it's been very popular, you sell out most nights. Uh, out of, you know, coming up, the middle of September will be a year, our year anniversary. And out of that year, we have not sold out 10 times. Wow. So, pretty amazing. That is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Lone Wolf preps 150 of them every day, as well as 100 pounds of potatoes for its kimchi fries. Crispy fries topped with spicy pickled and fermented cabbage. Both can sell out in just two hours. As always, location is key for the success of these trucks. Most rely heavily on social media, mainly Facebook and Twitter, to get the word out on their daily locations. For details on how to track them down and more information about the Tulsa food truck vendors, be sure to pick up a copy of our September issue or read it online at tulsapeople.com. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for more Table Talk in the coming months.